In this video, I want to show you how to install your Broodminder CS kit. Uh, this is the same whether you just got a single sensor or all three. So uh, if you got the kit, it will likely come in a tube or box. And what you'll find inside is this. And it includes a couple of stickers just for fun. Uh, we don't like mites, so we try to say that. Um, in this kit, it's a, a TH device, uh, which you can tell because it says on the end of it, TH2. Okay, that's with the swarm detection. And a T2 device, which looks like this. And it says on its little sticker, T2. You'll notice that the uh, numbers that we use all have uh, start with the same number for the different models. Um, an instruction sheet and the scale. Okay, and you'll also notice we've done design changes recently and we don't have the green band anymore. Uh, we now screw it together and so that makes it a little nicer for everybody. Okay, uh, let's see. So what we'd want to do is get this out and we want to turn on the T2. Okay, so we'll take that and we'll hold the button Okay, and you can see a light here until it goes off. And then when we let go of the button, it'll flash for about 20 seconds. That way you know it's running. Uh, if it doesn't flash for some reason, you know, you might push the button about 10 or 15 times. Sometimes it'll get stuck during shipment. Uh, it's not a critical problem, but uh, it's pretty easy to solve. So we have that one going. And now we want to pull the tab on our TH device, okay, remove before use, and that should do the same thing. It's a little harder to, well, let's see here. So if we hold it, and we can see the LED flashing right here, okay, it's packaged a little bit differently because it has to let the moisture, the humidity of the hive in. It also means that we have to code it specially and everything because uh, beehive fumes are difficult uh, for electronics to deal with. If you look at the T2 again, you'll notice that it is completely sealed because temperature can go through the, the housing. And so, you know, it makes it a little bit nicer. Now, when it comes to replacing the batteries, be sure that you get this one sealed up good, again, because it's not coated. And, you know, this one, you can replace the coin cell in it too. Now the scale is a little bit different than it used to be. Now we have the batteries on top and they're two AAA batteries instead, which makes it a little bit easier and lasts longer. So the same thing, take off the plastic housing and then pull the tab and it'll be harder to see that it's flashing, but it is if you sort of look inside. Uh, you do not need to take the aluminum base off, so there's a couple of screws here. Don't take them out. If you do, go to our user guide and it'll show you how to put them back. Uh, if it doesn't read the weight right, you probably just reassembled it wrong. We test everything before we ship it, so we're pretty confident that, you know, as it gets to you, it works. Uh, if it doesn't, you know, contact Mike at support at broodminder.com. Okay, so we've got that going. And before we put them into the hive, let's just test them. Okay, so when it comes to loading up the app, just go to your search and search for Broodminder. Okay, and we have several um, apps out there. And the one you need to be concerned with for this setup is the Broodminder Bees app. Uh, it's our newest app. Amanda just rewrote it and it's really terrific. And so you'll go and download that and we'll give it a minute to do that. Okay, now we open the app and it wants to send us notifications. It wants to use our Bluetooth. Uh, you need to allow that for it to work right. Uh, we don't store any personal information other than your password and the login name you use. Uh, and your zip code. Uh, so we try not to keep things that might be lost. So 
I want to create an account. I want to create an account. Okay, so I'm just going to make up an email. Rich at I love bees dot com and a password B one two three four five whoops one two three four five six S re enter password Bees okay and return and our uh, license ag our agreement here you know says that we're doing our best to keep your your uh, data private um, and if you want to use our service you need to agree to what you read there okay so now we have an account created at mybroodminder.com on the web I didn't find any apiary so let's make an apiary tap on top right to create an apiary okay so up here new apiary and we're going to call it these on main okay and we'll use stoughton's postal code five three five eight nine uh, we are in the united states so we save that okay so we want to create an apiary and we want to put a hive in that so we will so say new hive okay and we'll just call this one demo and demo cs oops installation installed we'll just take that demo cars installed no cs installed okay now that creates our hive and what we now want to do is add devices to it so we're going to go over here to the devices tab and I'm going to uh, we see a lot of stuff here because we're in the uh, bees on main and I have a lot of stuff running but I'm going to get nearby which only sees ones that are running right now okay and I know that these are new devices and let's just look at the numbers now you will probably only see three different devices running or however many devices you have uh, so it's not quite this complicated this one's 47 OF B1 and it's right there in the screen so I'm going to claim that device yes because it's mine and it means that it's running okay I'm going to claim that okay and I want to select a hive done and select a hive demo hive okay then I'm going to put this one above the lower brood box so right there and I'm going to start it right now okay so we've got that one it's working and it's it says it's 77.9 degrees it's pretty toasty in here now I want to find this one which is 56081F so because I've got a lot of things running here 56081F claim the device okay and I'm going to claim it okay and once again we select the beads on main apiary demo hive and we're going to put it above the upper brood box and start it right now okay so that's those two then this guy is oh 570355 okay 570355 there it is and it's already been running hmm 570355 okay so this says device belongs to another account so I'm going to stop here and go get a fresh device because I picked up a used one okay well that was uh, good to find out um, that I already own the device in a different account but uh, we once you claim a device it's yours and we don't want other people to accidentally put the data into it or claim it 
So if that happens to you, you know, just send a note to Mike at support.com. Uh, we work really hard for it not to happen, and it's extremely rare. But uh, Mike's out there to help with all those sorts of things, and we can de-assign it from one account, and then you can claim it. So I've got this now in 570355. I'm going to claim it. Yes, claim device. And I'm going to claim it. And I'm going to put it in the same apiary and the hive demo and the position scale under hive okay so once we do that what's really cool is we can go to the apiary view and here you see the demo if you click on that uh, you'll see all three devices and their readings right now so it says six pounds because I was messing around with it um, and you can see both the other ones, the above lower brood box, because it's a temperature only device, it shows 77.9. Above upper brood box, 77.2. Uh, and the humidity is 28%. And then the scale, which also reads the temperature and the weight. Okay. Now, just since we're here, let's go ahead and click on the details, show details. Okay, and once you do that, that's how you can uh, look at the graphs and whatnot. Now here, there's nothing yet because we haven't collected it. But if we push this sync button up at the top, it will automatically record all the data from the devices that are in the hive here. You see that's one's complete, another one's connecting. Okay, now that scale is complete. And the 56 device is connecting. And it will be here in a minute. And while that's going on, you know, you can go about and do your other things. Okay, so we know they're running. We know they're talking to our phone. That's great. So now let's install them. And what I think I will do is start with the scale. And then I'll insert the other two guys. Okay, so we've got these running. You could have done that in the house or at home or anywhere. Uh, it's just a little bit easier to do um, after you've done it a couple of times doing it in the apiary is fine uh, so now we want to install them so i think what i will do is start with the scale because you know when we open up the hive it'll you know rile them up a little bit it's pretty quick and easy but let's do the easy part so what you'll see here is i've gone ahead and raised the hive on two by fours this will go I like putting it in the front because you see the weight changes they come and go a little bit and what you'll notice is it's just a little bit thicker than a 2x4 so if you get the hive leveled with 2x4s to start with then you can just raise the hive slip that in there and once it's in then pull this other 2x4 out and what it's doing is it's raising half the hive, so it's weighing half the hive with this and half the hive weights on the 2x4. Then when we take the data and display it, we double that. Now, if you're a little bit more particular, you might want to use a piece of 2-inch angle iron. Uh, there's a link to it in our user guide. You can get it from Speedy Metals. You can get it from uh, any hardware store, uh, usually. And a two inch works really nice. And it can do that. Uh, you'll want what's under it to be good and stable because that's where most of the oscillations and anything sort of weird happens, uh, comes in. Okay, so we got the scale in and now we want to put the T2 above the lower brood box where we said, and we typically put it there and just raise it up and stick it in. You can put it in like that. Uh, some of our people like putting it in like this because then it doesn't block uh, the hive at all and they can crawl around it. So I think I'll do it that way this time. And then you can do the same thing on the top. You just stick it in and you know use whatever method you like. In the winter, you know, cracking it open and doing that pretty quickly is pretty easy. So, you know, that's the whole installation. 
Uh, we've got the scale, we got the T2, and we got uh, the TH. Um, this little sheet that came with it says that, you know, it goes through what I just did. And now anytime you go uh, in a couple hours, you can come out and synchronize the hives, get the data, look at the graph. It will automatically push it up to the uh, mybroodminder.com. And from there, you can, of course, share it with, it'll come out to becounted.org. Uh, you can share those numbers with your friends. And I uh, hope uh, you really enjoy this. And, you know, we're getting some nice data from it. So we appreciate everybody's being involved. And remember, every hive counts.